Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're painting a little coastal painting. This is so cute. This would be a great gift to give for um, Father's Day or just anybody who likes the ocean. I go everything step by step um, and show you how to. I just sketched this out. But also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. But you can seriously just use this without a traceable. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you don't want to, don't know what my Patreon is, it's a place people can go and. Um, get some traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, and just a place people can support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You can check it out right here. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. So without further ado, let's get painting. All right, for this tutorial, I'll go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's like a five by seven, it's a small size. I wanted to do a cute little small, little ocean scene. I taped it on this like a piece of cardboard with scotch tape. Um, I have a couple of brushes I'll be playing with. I'll have my Princeton 12 Neptune, um, my Princeton 8 and number 4 long round. And then I have my paints in my palette. I'll be working with a couple of colors. I don't know, a bunch of different blues. I'll have Ultramarine, I have Peacock, I have Prussian Blue, I have um, Yellow Ochre here, Cabin Yellow Deep, Quinacridone Magenta, playing around with all the colors. Um, and my water jars and my paper towel. So I'll probably start off, um, well I like to tape it down because I'm going to be doing some wet on wet and you know it's going to buckle if you don't tape it down. And I also just drew in, if you're in the Patreon member you can get the traceable but basically, you, it, maybe not necessary, you can see from this, I just basically put a line across here and kind of a line that's going down, diagonal, kind of wiggling where the ocean would be going kind of on a diagonal like here. Um, I'll have grasses kind of going in here and I'll put some sailboats in here later uh, using some gouache and some paint and it's kind of roughed in where I want the grass but basically it's going to have the, the ocean come in here and then the grass will come down again like this way so you get one little section here and another section here but you can watch and follow along okay so got my big old 12 Neptune brush and I'm just going to go in that section that I've kind of drew away that's going to be the sky. And I'm just going to get that wet. Get a fair amount of water in there, not too much. Now you can make the sky color any, any, color, any color blue you want. I'm going to play around with some ultramarine. And maybe a little pink and maybe a little um, pe peacock. So I got the peacock mixed with the ultramarine. I like to mix my blues. I don't like to keep them one solid color. I'm going to play around. I'm going to just kind of add the blue color here. It's pretty pale. I'll go across here. What I'm going to do is add this blue color and then go in and take out the clouds. And I've got the ultramarine. Let's get a little bit darker up here. So I'm adding in some ultramarine here. You see that? Just a little bit to that water paint. It'll get a little bit brighter up here. Let's throw some down here. Just in that horizon there. Okay, at this point I'm going to clean up my brush and I'm going to add some like orange tones. And I can just use Brilliant Orange or I can grab some yellow. Not too much. Just a little bit. I'm going to water it down. I'll tap it on my paper towel. And I'll just kind of like add in some pretty, maybe a little bit of yellow. And maybe even a little bit of pink. I grab some magenta. Pretty sky. Kind of like a sunsetty cloud sky. Sunsetty cloud? <laughs> That's a word. I don't know. Whoops. What the heck was that? <laughs> Live tutorial, guys. So now it's kind of looking like it's all one line. I don't like that. I want to add some up here. <laughs> that is a wind chime that I have like hanging on one of my lighting fixtures and it decided just to come pop off. Isn't that special? So this blue is kind of getting blah. I'm going to add a little more peacock blue. I'm going to go back in here and just brighten this up again. See, I'm just taking the tip. It's a little more concentrated, less water. Just going to kind of go in here. I'm going to add some back in here too. 
So I'm just getting all the blues in here first. I'm gonna add some ultramarine. Go back in here, and then I'm gonna go play around with um, taking out the color for the clouds. And I'm gonna grab some more peacock. Now I'm gonna take a, a drier brush to do that. So you get the color in there that you like. I'll take my Grumbacker and I'll play around with removing some of the paint for clouds. So grab some water and put that on there and just lift up the paint and have the paper towel close by. If that's not working for you, you can just grab the paper towel. So you're kind of like mopping it up. It's not coming out white enough for me, so I'm going to grab the paper towel and scrunch it up. It looks a little bunch better, a little bit more white. It comes up more natural with the paintbrush, but sometimes you get to finagle it with the paper towel. Just a little more. And then I'd suggest to go back in and grab some of that paint again, less water. Kind of just put some underneath the cloud areas right here. Just kind of on the bottom of it, even up in here. See, I'm kind of just kind of tapping it like this. And get a little bit darker. Just gonna highlight it even more. Just go right in there. Getting some darker ultramarine. Now I'm sitting down looking at that. I might want to tilt it so I can see it better. Do I, do I like what I see? I might want a little more intensity with color. I feel like it's washing out. So I'm gonna go back and add some more of that peacock blue. Right in here, right on the side too. Just like that. I think I've achieved the sky that I'm looking for. I might want to grab a little more white here. Little skinny ones. I could always go in too and put some gouache in. There we go, little skinny ones. Voila. <laughs> all the fun, right? You can go and grab some of your blue, maybe add a little gray to that. Go in the clouds. Add a little bit of gray. I have some blue and paints gray in the side. I'll just mix that up. Let's get the shadow of the cloud right underneath the bottom of the white area. We'll just highlight the cloud. Okay, we're done with clouds. <laughs> Moving on to the ocean. Um, I can still use the scrum backer actually. So that blue will be too bright to use the ultramarine. I would rather be using the Prussian blue. It's a little deeper, a little darker. Might add a little brown to that. I have some burnt umber here. So you want this darker looking ocean. And now we're gonna go in, of course that came out lighter. We can add a darker color though. Concentrated, less water. Now if this part is still wet, it's gonna bleed into it, so just be careful. You just make these little lines. I'm gonna leave some white. for the white caps. 
And if you didn't do that, it's not a problem. You can always add them. See, I'm just making these little lines. As we get closer to this part, which would be the shore, we're going to kind of fade it out a little bit. So right now, we're just going to go out here. And leaving some white. You can get a little darker in the back where it meets the sky. So that would be more paint, less water. See, it's getting a little bit darker. Use the dry brush technique. You can always add, if it dries light, you go back in and add even darker color. All right, at this point, I'm going to kind of water it down a little bit. Clean up my brush. I grab some of this burnt umber. Zoom in a little bit. More water on there. I'm going to dab it on my paper towel and just kind of add this little water to the edge here. Maybe a little more brown, actually. There's going to be some white caps in there, but we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that with the gouache. It's much easier to do with gouache than it is to lose the watercolor white. Add a little more brown. Okay, done with that. Now we're going to play around with, I have some yellow ochre here. Right, get a little brown to that if you want. I'll add some paints gray. Just going to water it down, get that beachy color. And if it still looks a little too yellowy, you can add some magenta. I'm going to water this down. I'm going to put in our sand. See, just going to call that sand kind of color. It can be a little more yellow in there. Getting that sand, and it's, the sand should be many different colors. It can't just be, you know, this beige. I'm going to add some other tones to it. Going to grab a little more of that yellow ochre. Gonna just kind of wash it in here, like real quickly, like this. Don't even though the grass is gonna be over here, just going like that. So it's like an undercoating for the rest of the. We're gonna have the grass swooping like this. All right. So we're gonna need to let this all dry before we start building layers with the grass. I might just go in and add a little more of this yellow color, yellow ochre. Oops, a little too much. You can kind of sneak in a little couple of pinks too. Just like that. See, I'm kind of just washing in some pretty pink. Don't be afraid to do that. Add a little color. It's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna look weird. It's gonna have like an impressionistic look to it. And we know the grasses will be here. We can start making some greens. I have a uh, cabin yellow deep, and I've got the ultramarine. It's got this kind of funky green. Or we can have Prussian, even darker. Now it's still wet, but we can start playing with like where we want the grass to go. See, just like right there. If it bleeds, that's fine, because we want that kind of look in the beginning. I'm playing around with adding some grass where I want the grass to go. I do want it to come down here a little bit. So I am going to wait till some of this dries because it's starting to bleed too much. Go and add some browns. Just like that. I'm getting a feel for where I want the grass to go. I might water this down a little bit and just kind of push some color in down here and over here. I'm just kind of tapping that color in. I don't want to bleed too much out here, so I'm going to clean off my brush. Because it's still wet. Kind of lift that paint. Alright, so we're going to want that, the rest of this to dry. You can still go back over into the ocean. Do you want to get a little bit darker again? Get another layer in there. 
real intense dark color. Right where the horizon line meets. And again, you can still just kind of make this little line so it looks like the ocean's a little angry. <laughs> like a windy day. Just like that. All right, so we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back. All right, so I dried that. Now we're going to play around with the grasses. Going to have some green, some brown, some yellow ochres. Going to just go go to town. Going to mix that here. I'll add some blues. You know, most of that brown, a little bit of brown, and some pretty greens. Going to mix some of this ultramarine with some yellow. Okay, so we're just going to make them swoop, swoop. <laughs> so I have to add a before brush, by the way. Princeton long round. And you're just going to go like this, this movement like this. That might be a little too thick, but I might uh, put a little brown on that. So this brush should be a little, that should have been a little bit smaller, what I just did. But that's okay. It's real. So I'm adding a little brown as I'm doing this. Going back and adding some green, playing around with adding some yellow. All at the same time. <laughs> I know, seems kind of crazy, but it's how you play around with the watercolor. So I got this brown, this dark brown in here. Same, just kind of mixing all the colors in at once. And then we can do like the, the top of the, uh, the grasses, have those little, um, I don't know what kind of thing you call it, but see, just going like this to the tip. Put some of the grass over here. Just these swooping uh, little, real quick tips of the grass. Let me add a little brown to that. I don't know if they like a reeds or whatever you want to call them. I have some grasses coming up over here. The little patch we did earlier. I'm just gonna make the grasses come out again. I'm adding some browns, maybe some Prussian blue. Don't be afraid to keep adding different colors like I'm doing here. You don't want it to be one note. You want it to have. You want you want it to sing. You know. You don't want it to be one note. Just by adding a little kind of light green and brown. Sorry, my chair makes so much noise. I gotta get a better chair. And then, like, you know, you put some up front here, some brown, the yellow ochre. The same kind of like thing you did here with the with the grass. Those little, I don't know what you call them, sprays that are coming off the grass. The leaves. I'm gonna come back in here and add some more green. I might throw in some bright yellow. I'm just going to keep adding grasses. I'm going to do some down here. And some brown right in the foreground. And then you can add that little, I don't know, the reed thing on the end of the grass. And you want, you know, they're going this way because the kind of wind's blowing this way. But don't be afraid to stick some down here too, just kind of little short ones. They're not really blowing much of anywhere. See, just kind of adding. I'll add some brown, some Prussian blue while it's still wet. Just, oops, grab too much water there. <laughs> That's okay. Make mistakes and just kind of kind of play with it. Keep adding some more grass this way. In this way, you get a feel for just playing around with the grass. I do want to add some darker colors in there, so I've got that Prussian blue, got that brown. I want to put some dark, deeper color in there too. 
Don't be afraid to do that. I missed the brown. And the yellow. See, just kind of keep adding. And you could do this again with those little reeds and some of those little ones down here. So I'm going to stand up to see if I like it. It's getting there. Might be a little darker than I wanted, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take the ground backer and I'll kind of make some shadows with my gray. So I've got some grays over here. Just use like a Payne's gray, maybe mix a little blue to it. Just kind of making these little shadows from the, the grasses coming down. You can even make it more of a purple. Um, I have ultramarine, I'll add some magenta. So I have the purple, see, and I'll add the purple in there. Just go like that with purple. Like I said, remember, color. Don't be afraid to add a little color. Doesn't have to be all these ugly brown colors. Or purple. Even blue. So I have that ultramarine. Ultramarine right there. Put it up in here in the grass, because that's going to be the shadow also. Don't be afraid. Go for it. Can add some more shadow in here. Because that would not be in the sun. I don't think we're quite getting there. Might add little spray grasses, kind of like just add some little brown sprays. Come down here. You know, things like that. You could put like a chair or something. Who knows? Things like that. Okay. I'm going to stand up to see if I like it. I think it looks good. Yeah. It's not ridiculously crazy. Um, I have white gouache here. So we're going to take the gouache. This is the fun part. Put some over here in my palette. I'm going to grab that little brush number four. You know, like I said before, we're going to make those little... Like the ocean is crashing. So down here where we have that part, we're just going to add a little more white here. Right? See? Just kind of wiggle it. And then see, I'm just kind of tapping it and wiggling it and still leaving that stuff there. And then we can just go across here with the dry brush. The waves are crashing. Looks like it's crashing ashore, right? Put a few little ones out this way. And some more out here. Now we're gonna do our sailboats. So I think I had one here. I had like three of them. So just put one line with the white here. Sailboat one. Sailboat to, I can't remember where I sketched them before. So don't hold me to it. But basically it's this triangle with a little space in between. Where are you? One, two, three sailboats. You see that? You're just painting like a triangle. Wah, wah, wah. Right? We'll clean off that brush. And then we'll grab um, paints gray or black, whatever you've got. I have a little black wash. Let's put, whoops, it's a little too much water there. A little line kind of going down here. Maybe a little on the bottom. You're not going to really see all the detail. And then the bottom can be like a brown or red. Um, grab this brown, and I'll mix it with some magenta, and a little bit of the yellow. Make whatever color you want. And I'm just going to put the little color here in the bottom. See? And then we're going to do some seagulls with the white gouache again. 
right? We're gonna make they're just V's, curved V's. The tip. Curved V. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? Curve the V. Curve the V. Let's put a few of them out there. You want to add like a little teeny black dot to the end of them. Look at the seagulls. Aren't they cute? So you're just doing the white V with the gouache and then you grab your black paint, whatever you have, paint's gray. Just put a little dot on the end of the, each little V. See that? Now, looks like my sailboat's kind of washed away a little bit. I got a little too translucent. I'm going to go back over it with the gouache. Now gouache is opaque unless you put a lot of water in it, it becomes translucent. So I really want it to not to be translucent. So I'm adding it back in. And voila. And same thing with the shoreline if it came a little translucent. You just fix that. One good thing about the gouache, and you can, I have a little trick with the watercolor. You could add it to some of your watercolor. So I have the white gouache. If you don't have any other color gouaches, you can add it with the, see I'm adding the white gouache to the yellow greens that I have here. So I'll grab some yellow and some ultramarine blue, or even just peacock blue and yellow. And I made that bright green. So if this got really dark, you could just go sneaky and go back and add that bright green right in there. Be sneaky. I call it sneaky. I even add more yellow. The little tricks, guys. Always got to use our tricks. Right? If you felt like your um, grass has got too dark, you know, it happens. And play around. This one doesn't have anything, really. Little ones bound here on the ground. Dun, 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 dun. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a little fun little tutorial. Like again, say I grab this green and I think it needs to be lighter over here. I might have made it a little too dark, but that's okay. You just take that little trick and you go on here and you add it to the, the little reeds that are here to brighten them up. They don't look so dark and dismal. <laughs> can even add some more in the foreground like you know that one like here big ones play around with them guys can't see what you can't wait to see what you come up with you know add a little bit of that blue don't be afraid to play with the color like I said I had the purple and the blue. So now let's tear it off the tape. This is the best sound, right? <laughs> I know you guys love to hear that noise. Tear it off. And what do we have? The cutest little painting. It could be a perfect little Father's Day card, actually. Who doesn't like that? Oh, I just noticed like that water right over here. Yep. And that's that. Isn't that fun? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. Um, also, like I said, if you're a member on Patreon, you can download the little quickie sketch. It kind of looks similar to this, but you guys saw how I did this. You guys could do this. Um, and that's that. So take care, guys. Have a fantastic day, and I will speak to you soon. Oh, my last little trick. If you find that your seagulls, you really can't see them, you might want to go back in. My brush is a little wet and just take a really teeny bit of the, like the black or the gray, and just kind of put a little line underneath one side of each seagull. See, on the V, all right. And that way you can see it a little bit better. All right, all right guys, take care, I'll speak to you soon.